Laws are weird, right? Like, conceptually, they're, they're kind of wacky. Some group of people just decided that we're not allowed to do something or we have to do something, and if we fail to do that thing or if we fail to not do that thing, they'll put us in a room for an extended period of time. And we decide who these people will be through some kind of glorified popularity contest. If I wasn't raised being taught the concept of laws and legislators and you told me that idea, I'd laugh in your face, dude. What? You mean to tell me that you let this guy tell you what to do? He looks like if one, Master Uguay started wearing pants, and two, he pooped them. It's just weird if you think about it. Maybe you disagree, and that's okay, because the laws I'm about to show you today are indisputably weird. I don't mean like something to do with weapon regulation or protectionism, no. Your politics bore me. I mean that in Vermont, it is illegal to whistle underwater. It's also impossible everywhere else. Weird laws run rampant in the United States, and frankly, it's a crisis. So to combat this, I've called in today a friend of mine named Clayton Hanshi who has done extensive research on this topic. Extensive research being I sent him a link um, to a database with a bunch of weird laws in it. Clayton has made a list which I have not yet seen of many laws like these. My task is to guess which state these laws are from and then rank them in a tier list from best to worst. Which state will have the wackiest laws? Well, only time will tell. If you said Ohio, I'm a I'll fight you. <laughs> I'll throw hands. There's a noxious cloud over that state and you're still laughing. This is what YouTube Shorts has done to society. Anyway. All right, well, thanks for, for joining us today here in the ugliest room in the world. Yeah. Do you or, like my ugly room? Or, or Trace's office. This is where I do all my video editing mm -hmm. and stuff, actually. But yeah, we're, uh, we're ready to rumble. Ooh, that was nice. Ooh. I opened mine already. Dang it. Why don't you tell us what we're going to do here? Yeah, so I'm Chase's intern for the day. I get to sure. read him a, a bunch of laws, weird laws, and he gets to guess what states they're from. And I think we're going to do um, AI art. Gener blah, blah, blah. We're going to use AI art to like um, put him in the tier list so that we can mm -hmm. represent them because yeah. there's <laughs> there's no way to, to just write the whole law in I a mean, tier list. So number one, in no particular order, in this state, there is a 10 cent bounty for each rat head brought into a town office. For each rat head? For each rat head. So you 10 get, cents. You get a dime for a rat head. You get a dime for a rat head. I mean, it's a pretty good deal. Cracking in the dough. Like it's got to be a smaller people. one, right? Because... I mean, I can't... I mean, there is there is a pretty big city in this state. There's two of them, actually. Two? Okay. And they're right next to each other. Right. Ow. Minnesota. Minnesota is correct. Yeah, let's go. That was that. that, was, that. Yeah, okay, did. okay. Right next to each other. I, let's see. This is my starting off one. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, as far as laws go, like that's not bad. It is a little wacky. I'm gonna put it in in C tier. I'll put C -tier, it in C tier. Okay. So let's uh, we need to let me break out my phone Ooh, here. Phone. That's that's a pen. Okay, here it is. That was, so this is stupid. That was, oh, I hated that. <laughs> so much. Just remove these out of shot here. How should I generate this? How should I represent this in words? Maybe you just explain what the law does. So like, ten cents per rat head. Maybe. Okay, ten I don't cents know. per rat head. What? what? <laughs> I don't understand. What does it have there? I was thinking it had like little yellow crutches. <laughs> oh. I guess we'll roll with that one. We'll Screenshot that one. Yes. Boom. Okay. There's okay. the first one. All right. So I got, I'm one for one. Okay. One for one. That's, that's good. Okay. I, I kind of blew that one up bad, but yes. In this state, potlucks were illegal outside of the workplace until it's 2016. 2016? Mm-hmm. Which I don't know, is church considered the workplace? No. Well, I don't think so. I don't, man, I feel bad for any churchgoer that could not have that's like followers. their thing. Yeah. Couldn't have been a southern state, man. No. Okay. I mean, it is southern of some place. <laughs> so it's not Maine is what you're telling me. Well, Correct. It's not Maine or Alaska. Or Alaska. Okay. New Hampshire. Incorrect. Arizona. Arizona. Didn't, I did not see that one. Did it give you any background as to why? Nope. I wonder what happened. Did someone just s s sister Edna just poisoned the pot? <laughs> she put, it was way too spicy. <laughs> that had to be overseen by OSHA from then on out. Probably, yeah. Yeah. 
That's pretty terrible, not going to lie. pretty terrible. I'm going to put that in yeah, that's, that's gonna be E tier. Let's this make a banning of AI art. So pot prohibition luck. of potlucks. Pot <laughs> <laughs> Pro Jotonto of Paluski. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll take works. that one. So, uh, yeah, it's going in E tier, I think. That's what yeah, I said. Yeah. In this state, whaling is illegal. Whaling is illegal. So it's got to... It has to be. So I thought whaling was legal in... As a federal statute, uh -huh. but apparently they did this before it was a federal statute. Okay, so that's not really weird. I mean, it's weird in the sense of where the state is located. Oh. Okay. I want to say Kansas. Close. It is Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Okay. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, I'm oh. all I'm all for the whales, but Oklahoma. but I, I I think it's not very practical. I mean, unless Oklahoma invades Texas. <laughs> You're going to yeah. be hard-pressed to get whales out yeah. off the Gulf of Mexico. Um, yeah. I, I didn't want to make four. I mean, that's, that kind of works. So, I, I'm going to say A for effort, yeah. but because it it's, doesn't really apply, that's that's going to go in C. In this state, it is illegal to bring your horse or a pack mule above the ground floor of any building. So you can't bring the horse upstairs. You cannot. So no parking garages. I'm sorry. Honestly, I feel like this is a, a scam by the car companies. I think they lobbied for this so that you couldn't use parking garages with horses. Makes sense. Yeah. You never... Big, big parking garage. Big, big, big parka. <laughs> where does P Big par Pig Barka... Where's, pig, where does Pig Barka have a state? Pigs steak. get into this. Let's go with New Mexico. Colorado. Colorado. I'm honestly surprised you didn't guess Colorado. Here I was thinking Colorado was was land of the free. <laughs> okay, all credit to these AI generation things. What are they supposed to do with I this? Don't know. <laughs> epic. Still. It's that's pretty cool though. I like it. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, that's we're, that's yeah, what we're, we're going with. Yep. And um stairs. This is honestly like totalitarian. Mm -hmm. I I, I think this that. this goes against the values that we have mm -hmm. in the United States. So I'm gonna say uh, this is a, this is an F tier for me. Never had a horse, me either. But I guarantee I'd want to bring it upstairs. It's, but I'm, but I'm allowed to bring my motorcycle. That's like post. Yeah, that's post I could bring modernism. My, I could bring my car upstairs, but I can't bring yeah. my horse upstairs. What, what bro? It's, yeah. So in this state, it is illegal to lie down and fall asleep in a cheese factory. Wisconsin. False. What? South Stupid. Dakota. What are they trying to compete with Wisconsin? Yes, it it just had nothing else going for it, so it's just like let's let's copy Wisconsin yes. and do it better. Like no one's yes. sleeping on the job, and so, nope. come on, that felt like a gimme. That's stupid. Just say it's sleeping at a cheese, cheese factory. factory. Okay. Ah, good lair. Good heavens. Um, I think he's. Uh, killed I himself think, in a cheese yeah. factory. We have to rate this video like not for children after that one. He's not gonna be able to sleep until we go that one. <laughs> I think he had too much cheese. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what are we gonna what are we gonna call that one? I it's it's not even like it makes sense, but it's just that it's from South Dakota. Yeah, it's not Wisconsin. Yeah. Then again, so I gotta I gotta say I appreciate Trying I to boost so, the yeah. economy. Mm -hmm. Like, how bad, bad ad, ad, ad can it be? I mean, yeah. You, you know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm, I, I, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I mean, I from guess, the Lorax? Yeah, I guess. That's the thing from the Lorax? Yeah. I brought a cows in South Dakota, too, I guess. And yeah. I don't want them sleeping on the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I do appreciate the effort. Yeah. You know, taking away rest mm -hmm. time from workers is very important mm -hmm. uh, in America. So I'm gonna put that in B. That's a B tier. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, in this state, you are responsible for any criminal act your wife commits while you are in while in your presence. Utah. Utah is <laughs> what? <correct. laughs> This is a weird place, man. Uh, Mormons, man. You, Utah. They just you have so many wives there that you start becoming accountable. Utah, is the new Ohio. <laughs> responsible. It's just a palace. This is society. <laughs> women. Society. If you took responsibility for your wife's crime, I, I have a hard time believing this is an actual. Uh, 
But at the same time... Yeah, I, I do want to disclaim this, that this was all from a website. Uh, I guess we could link the website. Yeah. This is all from a website that just gave, like, crazy, like, 10 crazy laws right, from or every state. Or about each state. And uh, so I, I can't confirm if any of this is real. I'm just taking but, it at face value because the internet isn't allowed to lie legally. Yeah. That said, that said, um, I think that... Uh, sexism is very <laughs> sexism is very important to the U.S. Uh, this is a tier. This is an a tier one for me because this is what society will look like if if you men take responsibility for their wives' crimes. Sounds like an Andrew Tate podcast. It does. What have, what have we done in this state? You cannot live on a boat for more than thirty days during the calendar year, even if you're just passing through, which. I find it very interesting. So that means you have to be able to pass through on a boat. Mm-hmm. Missouri? Georgia. Georgia. And but the amount of, like, redneck pontoon house things. Y- you know there's people who have exceeded oh, yeah. that yeah. limit. So, um, no, no living on a no boat. No living on a boat. What? Hmm. I'd I, say that this is the land of the free and not the water of the mm-hmm. free. So, be... It's in the song. Yeah. I so mean, and this, this is a pretty cool picture that the AI come, AI came up with. That is it's pretty that goes pretty it, hard. I like does. that. That's a solid C tier because yeah. like I think a lawyer could argue mm-hmm. that this is not the water of the free. Yeah. And this Georgia's jurisdiction does not go does not go into the into well, the water. Well then then you'd argue that it's unconstitutional. Well, it is on hostages. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Next one. Next one. Let's see here. In a county in this state, you are not permitted to take baths between the months of October and March. So, like, bath in a bathtub. So it's just like about wasting water. I, I guess so. So I'm gonna I'm gonna guess it's like more of a more of a deserty. Is this one New Mexico? It is Indiana. What? I, Hoosiers. I'm man. sorry for. <laughs> Anybody who lives in Indiana between October and March. Yeah, in that county. Yes. You know those videos that people make on YouTube where it's oh. like breaking obscure laws in front of cops? Yeah. Just like straight up like take, take a, a bath. bath. <laughs> this one might flag you for like being inappropriate. Does uh does this site do that? It does. But can you do taking a bath in front of a cop? All right, we'll just we'll just run with that. Yeah, well, this is. This I'll edit that. in a picture of a cop into that. Okay, so giving this one a rating, um, I'd say that this law is stinky. It's stinky. It's it's not but clean. Also, you're living in India. Yeah, that's the thing because. Um, <laughs> Who does that? Yeah, like you kind of asked for it, so that's going in C tier. I'm filling up C tier, man. In this state, you are not allowed to dye chicks. Ducklings or baby bunnies that color blue. Let's see. I'm gonna go with. Mm, where did it? Wisconsin. Um, Michigan. Kentucky. Kentucky. Why is that? I guess they want to keep the blue for their grass. Blue Kentucky Fried Chicken would ta- would that not would, be appetizing. No, there we go. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> can lu- can <laughs> lucky, <laughs> and it's the, the most monstrous Kentucky Fried Chicken. Look, it's that? got an eye. I mean, it, honestly, I think freedom of expression, freedom of speech. Mm-hmm. Um, this just can't pass. This is going to be a D tier. Okay, I got two l- really good ones to um, uh, finish this out. Okay. So in this state, it is illegal to shoot a Native American on horseback. Oh no! Wait, it is legal to shoot a Native American on horseback as long as you are in a covered wagon. <laughs> Oregon, North Dakota. North Dakota. <laughs> okay, I have a theory here. All it right? doesn't exist. North Dakota isn't a real place. It is government propaganda because I know three people who are from North Dakota, all of which are government workers who have jobs that parts of which they're not allowed to speak about. Coincidence? I think not. Uh-uh. North Dakota isn't real, um, or it was real, and uh, the atrocities that took place there, such as shooting natives Native off of horseback yes. from a covered wagon, uh, really just made it uninhabitable. I'm probably going to get flagged for this one. 
<laughs> Shooting a Native, Native American, American off of his horse. Yeah, oh, oh, he's got an arrow in him. <laughs> he's got a leg in him. He's got a whole leg. Okay, no. yeah, that's that's shooting. No, that you works. shot him with a leg. That works. It, I'll it, put the one in F, F tier. Because, okay. you know, we can't do that. No, okay, this last one is a doozy. Okay. It is still legal to hang someone if they shoot your dog on your property. Um, first of all, S. Uh, where does John Wick take place? Florida. Nope. No, okay. It's Nevada. Nevada. Everything's legal in Nevada. Yeah. You can do anything in Nevada. Also, According to this website, yeah. do not do that. Just imagine appearing in court for this. I watched a video on YouTube. Somebody with like 200 subscribers. They're like, yeah, you can just hang. They were wearing suits. How about like zombie dog hanging a man? Flagged for violence. Uh, oh my gosh. That's not... Oh! What is this abomination? Okay, uh, do we want to use this one? No. Or... Okay. Dog hanging a person. Maybe we'll get something better than that. I mean, that one's kind of... Kind of? Let's use that one. Use that that's one. close enough. That's definitely going in S tier, I think. Because uh, that's fair, honestly. Yeah. We're watching John Wick this weekend. I've been invested for four movies. At this point, I, I can't say that like the lead protagonist is immoral. So like, I'm just going to have to lean into it. That's that definitely so. a good thing to do. Yeah. So what, what are our main takeaways from this video? So we can't trust this website. Can't trust web... Can't trust the internet. Unless it's all correct. Unless it's all correct. And in that case, we should definitely not trust our government, which we shouldn't be doing that anyway. Yeah, never trust the government. Mm -hmm. um, and also, um, you can hang <laughs> a pair of killers. Yes. If, if we define laws as ref reflecting a society's moral standards... Then I think we're actually doing we're okay. Fine. We're then doing we're okay. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well... Everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, tell me if you if you like this type of thing. This is a new thing for me. I haven't done like especially in kind of real time stuff on uh, on this channel before. None of this is scripted or anything, which I'm sure you can tell. Um, so fun. yeah, if if you like this, go ahead and, and uh, you know like it, subscribe, and um, you know if uh, if you really like Clayton's outfit here with the cassette tapes and with the tie, leave a comment. Tell him he looks dapper. Tell him he looks I don't like have a pants. <laughs> Ha ha ha!